you some photos here of the, I would say, rather eponymous slut walk. Look at this. You can see this, these, these women, and they are touching the derriere of one another because that's what you do. One is dressed like a sexy cop. There's a reason for that. We'll get to it a little bit later. Here's another photo. We have a woman with her breasts out and something covering it, and she, is, she looks really happy, I have to say. She's got the words slut painted just above her chest, and she's got her hands up like somebody just scored a touchdown in the Super Bowl. I mean, she's really happy to be a slut. This, this actually was the Super Bowl for her hoes, I would say. I said the slut walk was the Super Bowl for sluts. And of course, as I mentioned, the media then tried to convince us that this was a good thing, and how they always do this is they put a celebrity, right? They put a celebrity face to it, and they start trying to tell us that this celebrity is a hero for picking up this cause. The person that they chose was Amber Rose. She very much became the face of the slut walk. Now, I want to be clear because Amber Rose is normally associated with hip hop culture that actually at this time, black women were saying, we want nothing to do with this. And when you look back on the photos, it is a majority of white women that were celebrating in this capacity. And, white, and black women were saying in a lot of these articles that these words are not good words. We should not be using them, and we would like to abstain from it. But let's look at the headlines pertaining to Amber Rose anyway. Daily Beast tells us, Amber Rose, hip-hop's Joan of Arc, right? So they were already going, we are going to sell this to the Black community. We want them to pick up ho culture, even more so than it has been picked up. Time Magazine, wow, what do you have to do to, to be in Time Magazine? Something great. Apparently not. They wrote an article called Why Amber Rose Decided to Reclaim the Word Slut. And of course, they assign her much glory all throughout the page. Next up, MTV News. Amber Rose tells us why her slut walk is the ultimate feminist movement. Oh, there we go. We've got an ism. If you're a feminist and you care about equality between men and women, then you should obviously be embracing the slut walk. Come down, get naked, and celebrate with us. Woohoo! Cosmopolitan, obviously, quickly behind them. Gorgeous, empowering photos of Amber Rose's slut walk. Did you feel empowered? Did you feel like the photos I just showed you were gorgeous? I'm just asking the question that everybody else wants to ask. Obviously, the answer to that is no. Okay, guys, so you're probably wondering, why did I play this? I actually did a reaction to this video back in February about you know, this historic day in hoology as Candace Owens was talking about in the slut wall. But you may be wondering, Mel, why are you playing this again? This doesn't make any sense. Well, you read the title, hopefully, of this video. I wanna show you the evolution that has happened to now Amber Rose that might shock quite a few people. The celebrity endorsements are rolling in for uh, the presidential campaign season and Donald Trump has gotten one that has really surprised a lot of people. Um, Amber Rose, who was apparently at an event with uh, the former president and first lady uh, recently, she posted this photo uh, with a very simple caption, Trump 2024. Well, it was a very simple caption that got a ton of comments and backlash uh, from uh, some of Amber's uh, fans and supporters who have felt like she was always someone who stood for feminism, that she, you know, look, here in Hollywood, Amber is famous for organizing an annual event called the, the Slut, Slut Walk, Walk. Um, that is all about not shaming women for what they wear and, uh, and their choices in society. But um, a lot of people feel like supporting Donald Trump flies in the face of that. And <laughs> you see how confused they look? I am confused as well, but Amber Rose, a self-proclaimed <laughs> slut, self-proclaimed hoe, and she has done a lot. I, I, I believe she, she's done, I mean, she used to date Kanye. She's been all over the streets. She's had so much. I've gone in on Amber Rose many times on my channel because she does represent this feminist, you know, sexual revolution. And it doesn't matter what a woman does. It doesn't matter if she wants to, you know, be spread eagle in the middle of the street with her legs open. You know, she's just advocated for a lot of things that you would think would go against conservative and traditionalism but we are now living in the upside down there just cardi b recently came out and said that she is not 
voting for Joe Biden. She says she's not voting for anybody. She's not voting for Trump either, but she's done with the Democratic Party and she's done with Biden. So I don't know where that lands. So I feel like I'm living in an alternate universe, but let's continue to see what the reaction has been to Amber Rose now being a MAGA supporter and a Republican. And who knows, is this a grift? because she's worn herself out literally with the left and being, you know, liberal and, you know, progressive and all about all these other things. Who knows? And she also, she made a point about abortion. Yeah, she made a point of talking about abortion. Yeah, she said, blank y'all think Biden cares about black people? Sad, do your research. I did, I always put women first. Y'all want biological men in women's sports? Uh, Trump supports the most reasonable compromise on abortion. Stop being brainwashed because we're people of color. Make your own decisions. Now, you, I will say that when you look at the polling, um, yeah, there, Donald, are of, there are a lot of, of, of people of color um, who are him. moving over to the Trump side for various reasons. Um, a lot of uh, Hispanic people are actually yeah. against uh, Biden's immigration policies, and that was a driving force in increasing his pop Trump's popularity there. So that's kind of, it is kind of interesting. Yeah, I, I get confused sometimes because you never hear anyone say, oh, white people should vote for and then plug in the candidate. For some, for some reason, uh, the, the Hispanic vote and the black vote, it, they, like they're often talked about as if it's like a monolithic well, because group it, that has to vote But also one because way. it can make a big difference in the election. That oh, oh no. Right. And, and, and make no mistake about it. And I actually looked up the numbers. So at this time in 2020, Biden had 81 percent of uh, support amongst uh, the uh, black voters and, and Trump had 9 percent. That's now at 22 percent for Trump and 69 for Biden. If that holds, Donald Trump is going to be president of the United States. Make no mistake about that. That Joe Biden cannot win with these numbers. It can't happen. Well, I mean, people are. Ooh, and you see, this guy is saying <laughs> Hey, TMZ he is saying, why are they seen as a monolith? Why are black people, Hispanic people, anybody who's a minority in this country, you know, the party that, you know, wants all this inclusion, for some reason, they still want to see us as a monolith. They want to throw a little fiesta for the you know, Latinx and then for black people, here's some chicken, y'all. And I play the uh, saxophone. They think that they can do these things to us. Or if they talk about to Latinos, you know, immigration, they hate brown people. And then for black people, you know, Trump is a real racist. He, he hates black people. And we're just like, where, who, what, why? Okay, we vote for more than this, this pandering things that you try to tell us about. And what? What's crazy is now Trump is changing staunch feminist minds. What? What? They look so sad and disappointed because you know they're in Hollywood, but this other guy is just like, he's just like, he's not even with the program. They're just like, guy, why are you saying these things? Like they stick to the script, stick to the script. <laughs> they're like, look how sad and depressed they look. <laughs> you guys know I'm independent, so. I don't have, I, I could care less, but I will tell you right now, I, the, what I have seen of Biden, what I've seen the Democratic Party, I am tired of having to live on the Democratic plantation. And just because you're black, just because you're a woman, just because of these things, you know, it seems as though now uh, Trump has actually crossed lines. He has, he has penetrated every single facet of what was supposed to be the democratic base at this point. Even Amber Rose, the leader of the slut walk, we're talking, I mean, this is unbelievable. Obviously talking about that. Um, I want to get back to the voting block issue. That's really nothing new that Jews used to be, you know, right. tried and true Democrats, right. um, gays the same way. And I just think that society has become so much more homogenized where um, it's not a clear thing on any one side where there's predictable mm -hmm. predictability in terms of how people are going to vote. I don't know. I mean, you know what's interesting about well, it? Well, it can be monolithic because not everybody has the same issue that's most important that's to That's right. Them. Right. And that's what you're going to vote. That's absolutely true. What issues are most important to you? You know what's really interesting? Amber Rose um, has... Uh, an ally when it comes to supporting Trump, which uh, is the guy that she dated. Ex, yes. Um, assuming that Kanye West is still uh, a Donald Trump supporter. I think that's probably fair to assume. Interesting. By the way, uh, closing arguments will happen uh, a week from today. So, yeah, guys, I thought I would bring you this news that Amber Rose, 
I, I, I'm, I'm actually quite shocked about it. I'm actually quite shocked. And given her reasons, because she was on the forefront of this movement that so many people criticized and thought was a detriment to women, but she's supposed to be a staunch feminist. Feminists celebrated this. She was part of Me Too. She's part of all of that. And now she has completely changed her mind. Which goes to show you that anybody's mind can be opened up that we can, you know, we need to come together on the issues that we care about and not just go with what mainstream media tells us, not what the elites want to force down our throat to divide us. I'm just, yeah, guys, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this. Also make sure you subscribe as I keep bringing you updates and more news and also hit the uh, notification bell and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.